This is the south of Ethiopia, the village of the Dorsey people. And this is Warka Water Tower. This is not a ritual building, although in its significance it could become one. Because it is a tower that gives the village endless clean water and most importantly is absolutely free. It's not a matter of mere convenience. In villages like this, actually there are millions of such settlements in Africa, girls and women fetch water. And on average, it takes an unimaginable six hours a day. Therefore, Warka Water Tower is a real savior. How does this tower work and how does it change people's lives for the better? You will learn about everything in this video. According to UNICEF, about a billion people in the world do not have access to drinking water. Every day, thousands of young children suffer from diseases associated with poor hygiene and lack of water, up to irreversible health damage and even death. One of those trying to solve this problem is the Warka Water Italian American Project, which is building towers in Africa that collect water from rain, fog and dew. Italian architect Arturo Vittori, along with his team, came up with a design that looks more like a product from a catalog of expensive interior items. The Warka Water Tower, however, is an engineering solution. A light mesh is attached to the bamboo frame. Nylon as well as polypropylene fibers cool rapidly at dusk while the air remains warm. This creates a dew point effect, and the mesh becomes a framework for water condensation from the air. Further, the pure liquid flows under the influence of gravity into a reservoir at the base of the structure. To prevent water from evaporating, the lower part of the structure is protected by a non-transparent tent. One tower can produce 80 to 100 liters of water daily. Yes, this water would only be enough for half a day for a European, and only a quarter of a day for a resident of the United States, but it's still a lot for people who don't have water at all. More importantly, the tower is completely non-volatile. It does not need electricity, even for maintenance. Maintenance of the structure can be performed by local residents with hand tools. Construction costs from $500 to $1,000 per tower. A team of 6 to 10 people can assemble the structure within one day. The tower has only one significant drawback. It does not yield any profit. Therefore, the Warka Water Project operates solely on donations. The cost of the tower varies because each design, following the general principle, can be adapted to the conditions of a particular village. Moreover, engineers are constantly experimenting with shapes trying to extend the formation period of the dew point. But the shape of each tower changes not only for the sake of efficiency. The Warka tree in the culture of East African tribes is considered to be sacred. Members of the community gather under its spreading crown to chat or pray. And the authors of the project pay tribute to the tradition not only in name. Each Warka water tower is designed according to the principles of biomimicry to be the center of the village, in terms of design and efficiency. And in this sense, the name Warka fits perfectly. This tree, natural or man-made, brings water and coolness to the locals. And in its shadow, one can gather to solve the problems of the tribe and think about a better future. The creators of Warka Water did not stop there and decided to develop their idea into a whole settlement. This is how the Warka Village project appeared, which is being built in Cameroon for the Bagheli Pygmies tribe. It is an integrated village built using local natural materials and ancient building techniques. Only earth, water, stone, wood and natural fibers are used in the process. Made using traditional methods from bamboo and other materials, Warka House offers a higher level of hygiene and comfort. Two Warka water towers will provide the pygmies with an alternative source of water. Previously, one had to go for water for half an hour, risking falling into a river with crocodiles, and keep not the cleanest water in open flasks. Sanitation and hygiene issues remain an important problem in these villages. The so-called Warka Sanitation Composting Toilets which operate without electricity and need to flush water, will help solve this problem. Compost can also be used as fertilizer for the Warka garden. In this Warka tower modification, water is used in the plant watering system, providing the village with food. In case the Warka water towers as well as the Warka village project spread across the African continent, they would be part of a revolutionary improvement in the lives of at least a billion people. 
Women will get time for other tasks they have to do for their families, and children will be able to grow up healthier and go to school. That's a lot already, right? If you are interested in how similar projects are developing that improve life on Earth, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any interesting innovation. We with our videos and you with your views also help projects like Warka making our planet a better place.